All right, and a very good evening, East Africa. Thank you so much for being live on U24 television. We trust that every time you watch U24, you're inspired, you're motivated. But above all, you are educated. Like tonight, there's so much education that is going to be focusing on budget implementation. I'm telling you, every time it's Wednesday, it's all about the desk, the continent's leading intellectual platform. Actually, the highest platform for solution finding. Now more than ever, I'm yours truly, Shadrach Shagaf Kisame. And today is going to be really, really insightful for those that understand figures, for those that are patriotic, for those who need to know exactly, other than street talk, uh, but those who need to know exactly what the taxpayer's money is doing and what exactly national funding is all about. The man in the chair is the most suitable to aid our understanding in this topic, Mr. Julius Mukunda. He is the executive director for the civil society group uh, advocacy, budget advocacy group. And these people have made it their business to ensure that we understand the implementation of the budget. Thank you so much for talking to us, sir. Thank you. Your yeah. pleasure. Yeah, um, so most of the people that follow me are youth. Mm -hmm. There are people in my age bracket. Yes. There are people who follow things just on social media. Mm. There are people who never get to the details. That's mm -hmm. why we are very honored today mm -hmm. that at, we are going to hear from the horse's mouth. Yes. Let's just talk about um, your organization before we even dive deep into the budget. Okay. Mm. My name is Amajidius Mukunda. Okay. I head the organization called Civil Society Budget Advocacy Group. Mm. CS bag in short mm -hmm. and majorly to simplify it is our business mm -hmm. is to check how government raises money okay through taxes borrowing and all of that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and we are trying to interest ourselves is it fair mm -hmm. does it make a business sense mm -hmm. or it is so unfair that you put so much that's an individual they can't pay business clothes mm -hmm. and all that mm -hmm. Or you are borrowing too much that you have to have so much debt that the amount of money we collect in taxes mm -hmm. actually goes to pay borrow to, 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 mm. to, to pay loans. Mm. Then the second item is we're interested in how government spends money mm. because we, we don't want to see our money, which all of us, including your followers here, even yes. the youth, pay tax. Mm. We don't want to see our money being misused. Mm -hmm. That somebody goes into our bank account in the Bank of Uganda, mm -hmm. picks money, and they go and buy for the, the, the Muslims a fancy house, a fancy car for their own. Mm -hmm. No. So we monitor that very seriously and very closely. Mm -hmm. And I am happy that today I'm meeting the youth because I have a lot to tell them. Mm. about how government collects money, right. how government is going to spend it, mm. and where they should position themselves mm -hmm. to benefit from this money. Right. Mr. Julius, you know we have 30 minutes and we, we never seem to exhaust, we may not exhaust you know, yes. from your planet of knowledge as terms, uh, is in terms of the budget, but let's just maybe pick a few pointers. Yes. Like, let's look at uh, this financial year, 2024-2025. Mm. Uh, yes. Let's just look at some of the main priorities that, you know, government has focused on funding. So, the the next financial year budget, the 2024-25 the 20, 20, budget, mm. and I, I'll focus on what the youth should really yes. help themselves. Yes. One, government has decided to put up a policy to say that any tender of government, mm. procurement of government, yes. below 30 million mm. must be reserved for the youth, for the women, mm. and people with disabilities. Any tender of government, mm. at, at, that is at, at national level, mm. at district level now, mm. of 10 million and below must be reserved for the youth, mm. for the women, and people with disabilities. Why I want to insist on this? Mm. If you are a youth out there, mm. Register a small company. Mm. Go to Uganda in the National Registration Bureau. Mm. Register your small company. It is the easiest thing you can do. Right. So that you prepare yourself to win these tenders. Mm. Government, they want stationary. Right, right. Government, they want to, to clean. Cleaners, toiletries. Toiletries. Mm. Government want to construct roads. Mm. Don't go for highways, no. Mm. Those small, small roads that require f to fill potholes and the Port rest. Potholes, digging, digging. There is money. Mm. Government requires bricks, requires mm. uh, carpentry, requires furniture, requires so many things. So position yourself mm -hmm. and get that money. So that's one. Yes. Two, 
there is money specifically for youth livelihood program mm. 8.1 billion uh, mr just before we go to the youth livelihood program because now we have people i know i know my people now mm. at the back of their mind they're like i have done this position myself mm. let's talk about the implementation yes. of that because you know there are crooks in there that don't yes. allow the eligible people who are the youth the women to get these tenders and that's what yes burger does because when we are pushing these issues for marginalized groups mm. Government says yes, but it does not put a policy in place. Mm. Now a policy has been put in place, which means that now even us as CS bag, mm. we are going to monitor. Any contract below 30, we raise it out and say this contract was given to a company from, to, from, China, from China, yet yes. it was supposed to be for, the and yes, that yes. contract will be cancelled. Mm. However, that contract can be cancelled if there was no use who applied for it. Ah. So when the government says that nobody applied and we go into the system, remember also what we have done with the government, mm. we engaged that we want everything to be done online. Mm. We have what we call e-government e, e procurement. procurement yes. It's online. So you everything everything yes. you apply online mm. and you track mm. your, you track your, your tender online. Right. So it is, that's how transparent it is. Mm. Yes, there are people who want to connive, and, but I, th I encourage everyone to stay firm and stand and push these things. Mm -hmm. If you have those things that are not working, please get back to us. For us, we will go to look for those people who have issued tenders meant for our youth, but they have given it to other people who are not that yes. Okay, yes. okay, okay. Because, because this, I think this has been the, the most problem. That, problem uh, and, then, and then also the, the, the PR part of it, the awareness. Because now I'm hearing it for the very first time, even me and I'm in the media. So for us, I, I think that's the biggest challenge we face. Government has so many good things, mm. but they keep them to themselves. Mm. Mm. So it has, we have also been challenged that we need to, to bring this up more and more and more again so please watch this this <laughs> yes. this channel for example because yes. there is information on inf it here here there is information on it and spread this information to all your other other, other groups we have been in ubc here oh, yeah on the radio on, yes. on the radio the same information, same information we have given yes. out we go to ubc tv the film the same, same information, information we, we, we give out but but most of us are on social media these guys are on social media how how how, how are you people uh, trying to reach us via so, our mobile so cs bag has a twitter handle okay cs okay. bag uganda at cs bag uganda you can even you can find it that we have a website mm. You can actually go on, on our csbag.org and find all that information that that, that, that that is there. But I think there's a question you asked. Mm. You, for you, you have this, you've had this information for the first time. Government must ensure that mm -hmm. it invests heavily in, in increasing citizens' awareness. Yes. Not only for this, do you know PDM has 30 percent reservation for youth and women? Mm. Because now we want to go and start monitoring PDM mm. to ensure who got the money. Why the people with disabilities mm. there? Why the youth are there? Mm. Why women there? Why yes. women there? Who did that? So increase awareness, and I encourage our youth also to to read, read, yes, read and follow most of these important mm. important things. Use social media for a reason. I, I think you need to record that. Yes, you see the the use of social media. Yes, you can use it for having seen a very nice place and you are there. Yes, but you can also use it to put to, to 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 for better content, mm. like, like you know a content like this one for all other people to mm. be able. to to, uh, to, uh, to share to benefit and benefit and benefit from it. So I encourage you, you say, let, let's participate. In, this is our government. We right. cannot be exported anywhere. Right. And then this bring, here. And, and you know, even even me, I feel like this has brought me closer to government. The fact that they've thought about me, yes. Shadrach, I have my company, mm. and if I feel I'm eligible to supply, I just go and get the tender. I mean, there is even entertainment. The government mm. wants to be entertained. Yes. You know, we have a, a, a whole budget line of government entertainment. entertainment. So if you, are, you know how to, to craft your entertainment content, please set up yourself, but please formalize. Mm. Government is not to come to Shadrach and yes. say we are providing Shadrach this your contract. Briefcase. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> yes. Shadrach must have a company, mm. a company must have a TIN number mm, mm. and must comply with accession laws of the country. Right. So you are formalized, you have an address. Otherwise, if you all become a briefcase, then we are going to lose we have money. no system yes. before we go for a short break uh, let's let's just go to the next uh, point that you wanted to outline in this year's budget so in this year's budget and apart from that procurement part mm. there is also money for women it's called grow mm. grow is for women uh, and, and 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 here i encourage the youth mm. uh, the, the female youth to really to get involved in grow mm. huge amount of money 
800 billion Ugandan shillings. Wow. Mm. That's too much money. What does it require? Have a group. Female group. A female group. Have a female group, have a business idea, go to the Ministry of Gender. Mm. That group actually will be trained by the private sector foundation. Ah, okay. They will train you on how to manage businesses, your, your, your business. So you're getting money and you're getting a skill. You are getting money, you are getting the, you are getting the idea, mm. you get the skill, okay. and then you, you get, get the money. money. Ah. Now, not only that, government has another program called Invite. Mm. If you have got the idea, you've got the skill, and you have now the money, money. to start your idea and turn it into action, mm. there is a program that can help you export abroad. Mm. So don't say my idea is poultry and I will be selling eggs to my neighbor. My uh -uh. Yes. Now actually the government can help you to export, to your, export eggs. your eggs to South Sudan, mm. to Kenya, mm. even to Europe. So where an egg here at your neighbor's place is 500, mm. in Europe an egg is 4,000. Mm. Mm. So we can only benefit from those if we prepare ourselves. The, it, these opportunities cannot find us in the bedrooms. Talking about preparation, I want on that point, we go for a break. When we come back, we just talk a little bit more on how a youth can prepare to be eligible. Yes. Now you are still alive on U24. Do not go away. The desk takes a break and the desk returns in a moment. <music> Now, if you're just joining us, I'm afraid you've missed the very fast, insightful segment of this very lovely episode of The Desk, where we're talking, we're digging deep and understanding, actually throwing a floodlight into this year's budget. We're trying to understand what has government, you know, paid attention to in regards to our demographic, the youth, and none other than the person in the chair today, and he's doing a really good job. You can't be the judge, but get back to us on our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Do that for Shadrach Kisame, and do that for U24 Television. Mr. Julius, are you on social media, or we stick to... Uh, to no, I'm on social media. <laughs> I have two. Uh, uh, at Julius Mukunda, okay. is my handle. For, 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 for Twitter, Twitter yeah. and that's where you will find the media. Right. As well. So w before we left off, we were talking about you know preparation mm. to be eligible, the eligibility of preparation our preparation to benefit from government programs. That's mm. the most important part. Mm. So to, to to be eligible, you must formalize. Yes, yes. Formalize is that you must get registered by camp by government of Uganda, and you become a company. Mm -hmm. You can form a company as a one person. Mm. You can form a company as two, people. as two people. You can form a company as a hundred people. Yes. So depending on what you want. So even these women groups also form companies? They will be registered as circles. Okay. So circles are also registered. They have their own area where they're registered. Uh, some of them are registered by the Uganda Cooperative Alliance, mm. uh, which is at the Ministry of Trade. So Ministry of Trade is in charge of circles. Yes. But please, you can visit your community development officer, wherever you are, mm. or you can come to Ministry of Gender, or you can go to pub, uh, private sector foundation, mm. go on their websites, they can provide details on how you can benefit from these particular programs. For those who want to register companies, go on the website of Uganda National Registration Bureau. Mm. Once you reach there, you will see step by step, and they are so simple. Yeah, yeah. You will be able, and you will be able to register your company the way you want it. Yeah. Then after that, you can get your TIN number for UMRA, which is free of charge. Mm. And then you form your business, get an address, get a post office box number, and then you are moved, you are, you are, you are good to go. So right. it's as simple as that. Mm. And uh, once you do that, then have idea. It's very important to have, to have an, an idea. idea. To have right. an idea. Mm. Do you want to do brick laying? Go for that. Do you want to buy a border border? Go for that. Mm. Do you want to buy a vehicle, a uh, tax and car? Yes. That's way. Mm. Do you want to supply food to different restaurants? Do you want to go farming? Mm. That's, that's your choice, as long as it's an idea. And now PSFU will help you to develop that idea. Mm. So that they can tell you I don't need challenges. to pay anything to PSFU. No, 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 they will call you and they are going to run a number of workshops mm. for people who have ideas. Mm -hmm. They will tell you how do you calculate loss and profit. Mm. Mm. For example, if you get a loan, how do you, you know, uh, account for it? So mm -hmm. those things they tell that you don't know and they help you to improve your ability to manage your business. Right. Yes. Yeah. So I want I want us to go back to this funding that is in uh, 
the, the budget for mm. this year? Is it a loan? Is it a grant? What kind of, of, of funding are we talking about that is in this budget? So the government of Uganda, we have a huge component of our budget in terms of loans. Mm. In fact, out of 72 trillion, the government is going to contribute only 31 trillion. 31.9, that's 32 trillion. By Uganda Revenue Authority, that's what they're going to correct. So you can say the big chunk of it is going to be funded externally. Mm. The government is going to borrow money, but also from abroad. But there is a program like GROW, which is a grant, mm. so we don't need to pay it back. It's mm. a money that the World Bank gave us that particular, that yep. particular money to, to utilize. But there are also loans that come with a grant component. A grant mm. component means you don't pay back, but the loan also comes with a, with a grant so that you can be able to pay back, uh, to pay back properly. So some of these funds uh, are loans, but some of them are grants. grants. But the money I'm talking, I'm telling you about PDM is government of Uganda money, mm. purely. Mm. Uh, so that is where people should, we can also engage. But to grow is, a, is, is government, is, is, is a grant from the World Bank. So it's also our money. Invite has got a component of a loan, and but a grant. also a grant. A grant. Mm. Yeah, so we need to utilize that. So that's why I tell you, Ghana, don't, don't misuse this money. If they give it to you, don't drink it. <laughs> Turn it into product. So, it into someone product. goes through the entire process painfully. Painfully. And you get 20 million and you drink and it. And then you marry a second wife, <laughs> you, you drink it, and then you buy a very huge sound, sound system, system in your area. And you want people to pay back. Yes. So use it productively. Mm. That idea you had, you are, you, are, you, are building, you are building these compound bricks. Mm. Instead of 100, now you're going to do 1,000. 1,000, yes. Invest in marketing them. Mm. And then you can, that's how we can transform this country. Mm. Mm. Even everybody. But for me, the youth, there is something I want to challenge you on. Mm. Mm. Because government builds these very nice hospitals, mm. health centers, yes. schools, water points. And somebody steals them. And we all sit quiet and we don't do anything about it. Mm. I would want to encourage you, wherever you are, mm. Mm. forget about Kampara. In your villages there, yes, yes. be vigilant to visit that primary school and see whether it is functioning. Mm. That hospital or health center, see that's functioning. What we have done as CS Bag is we have been able to encourage government, and the government has accepted to display the budget of each and every service unit, mm. a school, a health center, wherever it is. It is displayed. You can able to see this, this school, this is their budget. This is the their money budget, they have yes. it. Now, if they have money... Allocated for something. For cleaning up the... the, yes. the for, cle for cleaning up cleaning the, hosp and the, uh, the hospital. Mm. And you find it is all bush that has never been maintained. That means they are eating that Someone money. has eaten that money. Mm. If they have money for 10 medical workers and they have only mm. two mm. somebody has eaten your money yes and i'm telling you it is your money because you pay it you drink sugar mm. you use soap you buy shirts you yes. buy trousers phones. Is, mm. there is phones there is money on that yes you pay data yes data and phone calls government tax. charges taxes yes. on that mm. so if you don't consume government doesn't get money but because you consume and pay government gets money, money. Mm. so yes i i encourage you to do that because, because uh, how, 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 does, how does a youth, uh, because we've had the, the implementation of that, people are just going to streets and then they are not heard. How, how do they effectively help you? How do they get back to you in terms if someone has figured there's a hospital, there's a school that is being robbed? So there are three ways you can get to us. One is we have worked with the, the office of the Auditor General. Mm. He has what they call the citizens' feedback platform, okay. which you can utilize to lodge your complaint there. And that is on social media? Or? That is on the social media. It is on the website. It is, mm. It's on the website. It mm. is even an app. It's even an app. Yeah. An app. You can download it on Google. You can load it, download it on iPhone, I, iOS. Mm. The second one is if there is a procurement issue, they have not given you. The, they, they, they have they have not procured you and yet the contract was for less than ten million. Yes. We have what we call that the city, uh, contract monitoring system. Mm. It is also an app mm. managed by the Public Procurement and Disposable Authority, PPDA. PPDA. Yes. You can also lodge it there. Mm. If they don't, please send us a WhatsApp. Send, a, send us uh, a tweet at mm. CSBAG, uh, at CSBAG uh, Uganda. 
we will follow it up. Send me a tweet at Julius Mukunda. I will follow it up. Mm. Go on our website and put a comment. We will receive that information and we will follow it up. But you know, you know the picture you're painting, Mr. Julius, is mm. that there is a policing system for this thing. And we have never known. The system is there, but because we have not used it. For some of us who have used it, it has actually worked. Mm. We have made the people return the money. Mm. We have made the shadow contracts be cancelled and the new one starts. Mm. We've made a, a, a health center that was not functioning functional. Function. Mm. I can tell you why we used to work in Chibale and in, in Chibale and the head of the of the health center had turned the boys' court, the, the housing, the staff houses mm. into a port reform. <laughs> and once we knew about it, somebody raised the noise, we went there and the cow was like, please, I have given you only today to make sure that the, your chicken are out, it is cleaned and the staff start using this, 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 this facility, these, these yes. facilities. It is possible to change this country if we all work and be vigilant. I am telling you. Before we go for a break, I, I, I want to find out. Uh, is it, are we, are we, uh, is there a light at the end of the tunnel? Let's just contrast between last year's budget and this year's budget. Are we borrowing more? What, what's happening? Are we going deep in, in the tunnel of debt? So what is happening with the, our government is that we are, we are beginning to get worried. Government is telling us that we are sustainable. Mm. And they, they could be right in one way because mm. we are able to pay back. Mm. Our debt is still below the threshold of 50%. Mm. But me and you, why we are getting worried is that the biggest chunk of the money we collect as a country is going to debt, servicing. And that's, what, that's where our worry is. Mm. That's the number one. The other biggest worry why we feel that debt is going to be a problem is that even the money we have borrowed, we have failed to use it. Mm. We have what we call, we have 14.4 trillion of undisbursed loans. It means it is the loans we signed to use, mm -hmm. We have failed to use them. To use them. They are still there hanging. Everybody is like, why are you not using this money? So where is the money? It is with the people who are supposed to give them to us. Because we have failed to ask for it. So we are accumulating a lot of debt for nothing. For na So some of it is 14 trillion which we have not utilized. But sadly also is that when you don't use it, they fine you. Ah. And that's where what we call commitment fees. Last financial year, we paid 118 billion in terms of fines for not using these loans. So this 118 billion, Shadrach, what could it do for you, for your district, for your area? Constituents, yes. Constituents, huge benefits. So that's why we get worried about the loan. That's why we, are, we say, please, can you work on these challenges we face as a nation? So that this money comes, we use it, we don't pay fines. Right, Mr. Julius, on that point right there, I want to go for a quick break. When I come back, we just start right there. Mm. Do not go away, I'm telling you, there's so much insights, you know, coming in there, and I'm coming back. <music> We are privileged to be having a man that understands all our questions, all our concerns, and he's breaking it down. He speaks as he knows it. He's not just a man who watched things on TV, pocketed them, and now he's telling us. No, he's the right man to complain to in case you have a complaint. Mr. Julius, we, we, we're understanding that there's so much money that has not been dispersed. Mm. It is growing fines on top of that, mm. and it is, we are actually borrowing more to continue with the same routine. How do we get out of it? So there are a number of ways. One is to kick out incompetent accounting officers who are not using that money. Mm. If you're an accounting officer running a project mm. that has borrowed money to be completed in five years, and it's now 10 years down the road and you have not finished it, what should we do to you? I think you should just step aside or we kick you out. So we get the right person to do that. What's the fear? Why, why aren't we using it? What's the, why, what's the so fear? the challenge, I think, what we are facing is the politics now. The son and daughter of so and so must get this job. Then we end up getting competent people. The northern bypass was supposed to be completed in five years. Mm -hmm. It took 20 years to be finished. Mm -hmm. There are also a number of things that probably as government has not seriously addressed, and that is the issue of land. Mm. 
Mm. When a road is passing in your area, government must compensate you. Yes, yes. But what we have realized, two things. One, people don't want to be compensated because the road is passing through their burial ground. And yes, an ancestral, ancestral land. And yes. Ancestral land. Yes. So they don't want. Even if you give them a trillion, they don't want. So it delays the process. So it delays the process ah. of convincing them. It takes... One example I can give you is UNRWA had a road. As they were constructing, they found a tree in the middle of the design. Mm -hmm. So they called the valuer here, Minister of Lands. Can you come and value the, the worth of this tree and we pay the owners? Mm. The valuer had only learned how to value a tree <laughs> by estimating the number of timber in the tree. <laughs> but the owners say, no, this tree has got spiritual value. <laughs> and the value had never learned a formula for calculating the spiritual, spiritual value. Spiritual value. <laughs> it took you it took you know, nine months mm. to go to court, blah, 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 nine months, and you are paying commitment fees because the contractor is on the ground, is not working. You pay per day if he is not working. So those are the challenges we face. That's Some ask so much money that, hey, this is my plot of land. If you want to pass here, I need 100 million. But the value is 1 million. But the person says, no, I want 100 million. He takes you to court. He, you, you win. He goes to high to court of appeal. You win. He goes to Supreme Court. You win. Now they want to go to Arusha. It will take years to have that road or that project uh, get finished. Government must tackle the issue of land, land yeah. for government projects. Project is still a big One issue. person cannot prevent a national project from happening. So should they bu should they bully them around? What? It's, it's, <laughs> it's not about bullying. It's about you see. It's also a conduit within a government. Hmm. If you get a list of people who are being compensated on these major roads and highways, you find they are government officials and politicians. Uh, who are being compensated. Who are being compensated <laughs> because the road is passing <laughs> where the, they... And it's their land. And it's their <laughs> land and they know the rate. <laughs> so, in TV, Kampara Express Highway, mm. we got a loan two years ago mm. to finish it. Mm. We have not because we have not paid everybody in terms of compensation. compensation yeah. And the compensation is more than the road construction itself. But if shame. it was in Tanzania, Mm. The land belongs to the government. They will come they and compass cost of, yes. no cost of shifting you. Mm. Take you to another place. another place. They don't kick you out, no. Mm. They say, oh, do you know what? Very sorry, the road is passing here. Mm. However, there is another land there for you mm. and we have brought for your house. Yes. No, they don't give you money to move. No, no, no. So th there must be that way of... Mm feeling that the public good is more than the, the individual. The individual. I, I get what you mean. Yes. And, and that's more patriotism. That's more patriotism. Mm. Uh, and, and, and that's how the nation is developed. Developed, yeah. But if we stick nation development on private mm. and personal, we will never develop. Because everyone says that's a thing for government. Even the ones in government themselves are saying that's a thing for government. And yet, that hospital that they have built, the politician is not going to go there and, they, and these big technical people. No, they'll fly abroad. They are flying abroad. Mm. But if they would stop flying abroad, that hospital would function yes. immediately. Yes, because they will need it. If government decides and says, no more buying vehicles for public servants, we would not have be having a single portfolio in this country. <laughs> no, it would not be there. <laughs> if government says, no more, uh, no more, each and every public servant mm. must take their children, children to, to a public, public school. school. All these nakaseros, <laughs> all these schools. International in schools, in what? All, all of them, <laughs> I'm telling you, would be, be out perfect of business. first class. <laughs> all these public schools will be performing very, very well because the person making the policy is a, is, is a beneficiary. Is a beneficiary. Yes, yes, yes. To this primary school. I'm telling but you. But because we've widened now, when you get a job, you fly to India, when you fall sick, everybody knows that, so why should you put money in Morago? Mm, mm. No wonder money in Morago is being stored left and right because nobody cares. Nobody cares. Cares about it. But if there was no money to take public servants and politicians mm, abroad, abroad, yes. Morago would be the best hospital in Africa. Our, all our regional hospitals, our clinics would be first class. Mm, mm, mm. So we need, I think as youth, I think we need to really engage government, mm. make our noise be heard on all the platforms we use, 
you have seen what the Kenyan news have done yes. in terms of even just even not going on the street, yes. but just social media. Social media, yes. Social media. It's, 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 it's I, incredible. I, I think we, I think our as the youth, our energies are misplaced. I'm starting misplaced to understand. our energies. Yeah. We forgot about the role playing because remember, for you, you will see you as you think you are very young. No. Tomorrow, tomorrow's certainty begins today. Yes. And it begins with you. Yes. So if you don't take charge today, there is no tomorrow for you. For us, we finished tomorrow already. No, Mr. Julius, the, 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 the distance, mm. the youth, youth are being, they feel they are not included in the conversation we're having. Let's say, for instance, implementation of, of budgeting, mm. you know, budget allocation. They feel like we're not included. The inclusivity of the youth. What is government going to do? No, the, I think there is that version. But I think even as youth, we've distanced ourselves deliberately, deliberately distanced ourselves. Mm. Because everything is, ah, this is for government, this is for the adults. And they are discussing about the future which you are supposed to be involved in. Mm. So I think as youth, we, we need really to claim our space. That's very important. But you people are saying we are not ready. You are ready. Mm. We say it because we are selfish. <laughs> we, we, you see, it, it, it's, it's, it is simple, you know. <laughs> You are not, there is one car to drive and I'm still in it and I'm saying you are not ready because <laughs> when I say come and drive, then where will I be? Uh, I am not going to be anywhere because I have not secured my future. My pension is not performing, it's not working. Ah, yes, you, you, you get yes, me? Because yes. I ate all the money. Yes. I did, I did not work to put a strong pension system. Yes. In other countries, people look forward to, to retirement. To God, to yes, retirement. people want even early retirement. Simply because the pension system is so secure that mm. somebody will go home and sleep, they will get rent, they will get food, mm. they will get medical care, anything they want. Mm. But here you see somebody even trying to forge and change the date of birth. <laughs> so they can stay in, in the position more than, more than more, more, for, more, for an extra time. I am telling so, you. So, <laughs> the youth need really to come up and claim their power. Mm. Let's get prepared. Let's get educated. Mm. So that at least if we say we have a prime minister of 28 years, mm, mm. he has a PhD. Ah, I need to do my homework as well. Do your homework. So wait, you have a prime minister. Recently, they were, they, they were showing us our, our ICT minister and the ICT <laughs> minister of Rwanda. But surely you could, even as Uganda, you could really feel that there is a very huge difference that should be worked on. So, really, I think we can do it. I'm telling you, you know, you know we cannot never exhaust all this in these 30 <laughs> minutes of the desk, but I'm sure, you know, the youth have had a good time because... You know, they, they are getting to understand and, and, and we feel like, even personally, I feel like, okay, I have a chance at, at this thing. What are your final, maybe parting shots that you want to leave for the youth? Uganda is for all of us. Mm. Nobody is going to be exported out of this country. We are born here, we will die here. Whether in the rain, in the sunshine, we are Uganda. So we can all make it better. And the youth have a very huge role to play. Mm. Please, let's be responsible. Let's take up opportunities. Let's get prepared ourselves. Mm. Let us stop drinking excessively, taking drugs, the things that will destroy our bodies. Mm. Once we are healthy and good to go, opportunities are there for you. Like we explained, the budget has so many opportunities. Let's get out of our bedrooms, go there and take advantage of them. A pleasure being here. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mr. Julius Thank you so much, Mukunda, yeah. right there. Yeah. He has made us understand that not all is lost. There's light at the end of the tunnel. But preparation for eligibility is key. For you to be eligible, you have to be prepared. We cannot go past this because I know you people are like, get off Shadrach, we want to watch the movie. <laughs> but from me and the entire U24 management, would like to say good night, good luck, adios, for God and my country. May the good Lord bless this beautiful Uganda. Until next week, same place, same time, of course, same host. Good night.